So after the bomb went off, you ran? Did we ever. We were cut and bruised and dead scared. Did you look for the farmer? No way. We didn't want to see what was left of him. We thought he must have been blown to bits. We ran home fast and told everyone what had happened. Some of the adults looked after us and some went down to the field to see what was left of the farmer. Did they find him? No, nothing. There was a, a, a blast hole in the field and some scorched grass all around it, but there was no sign of him or his tools or his bag. So what happened to him? Well, they found the farmer on the other side of his farm, safe and well, fixing a fence. But it wasn't the man that we saw. It, it wasn't the man that came to tackle the bomb. So who was your man? Nobody knew. But the farmer told my dad that his brother was a bomb disposal man in the army. So was it him? Well, it couldn't have been because his brother had died a week before. He'd been killed in the city working on a bomb. Make of it what you will. I know what I think. What do you make of that then? Strange or what? Now that's what I'd call a twist in the tail. What does it all mean? It's your job to end the story now with one great final paragraph. You've got some describing to do and three big story twists to deliver. The fact that there was no body at the bomb site, the fact that the farmer was alive and well, and the spooky story of the farmer's brother. Tell it well and you'll have your readers hooked.